I'm working on a little puzzle game. It uses the tile flipping logic of Othello, and you have to keep flipping tiles to sort of reduce them from a higher value down to a low value. The puzzles are just a simple grid of values in the code. Uh, it's all in a two-dimensional array of integers. But it's time for me to find a way to create my own levels. I could put game objects in a Unity scene, but it seems silly to use, uh, use such a powerful tool to, uh, to just like put a number into a two-dimensional array. Uh, so I've decided to write the files as a text file, and then parse that text file into the data that the level uses. Uh, for a regular game, one could then take this level data and like instantiate game objects, but for me, that's actually all I need. So my level is a two-dimensional array of integers, um, and I think my, my file, my, my text file, should be a two-dimensional array of integers. That's going to be my format, just a grid of numbers. Uh, each line of the file will be a row of the puzzle, and I can use the numbers to represent my, uh, my different values. So I'm writing this in a new class, and I'm passing in a text asset. Uh, and then when I get the text asset dot text, it gives me a string of the entire file. That's simple enough. The magic happens when I use the dot split function. The dot split function turns a single string into an array of strings, uh, and the different parts of the array are the parts of the original string before and after whatever character you pass into the split function. Um, so I'm going to pass in the uh, new line character backslash n. Uh, to get my line breaks. So you now I got to set up a bunch of loops and go through it. Um, for the second part of the array, strings are already uh, arrays of characters. That's kind of what a string is. But anyway, I go in and I got some errors, and I, but I don't really know where they're coming from. So let's inspect this using the debugging tools built into uh, Unity and Writer. So in IDEs, you can monitor your project while your code is running. So I'm going to create a breakpoint. So when the game is executing and it gets to that certain line in the code, it'll pause. And that's useful because you know that that line run. But you can also go in and look at what uh, every variable was set to at that point. Uh, and then you can, you can step through the code line by line and do things like that. All right, so doing this and I find my issue. Um, see, I expected my lines to end with uh, backslash n, not backslash r backslash n. So I'm getting uh, uh, the return character and the new line character on my line endings. Uh, so that's annoying. How do I fix that? Uh, how about I just trim away any white space after uh, after taking away all the uh, after doing the split? Yeah, that's good, good enough. I mean, it works. <laughs> anyway, uh, just a bunch more cleanup. You know, adding some titles and adding uh, some more data the level needs to know, like how many how many tiles you're allowed to place, uh, and then uh, fixing some more bugs. And then lastly, having adding a bunch of uh, catches to different errors so I can actually uh, know what went wrong when, I, when I'm when i unable to parse my file. Uh, and then I have to go back and rewrite a bunch of things to allow for puzzles that are not rectangular in shape, which I've been meaning to do for a while but finally got around to. Um, and I have to rewrite a bunch of things somewhere else because I was being lazy the first time. And now I am, now I am being, now I'm not, <laughs> now I have to do the work. Well, shouldn't take me too long. How hard could it be?